This past week's pickups episode number 16. We got another big check out my cards order coming in today. Got about 500 cards here. Full disclosure, I'm recording this one a little bit early because I'm going to be at the Chicago Sports Spectacular the 18th through the 20th. So I wanted to make sure I got this one in. And since these just came today, I thought I would make the video on it now. So let's get started here. And I, I will have a follow-up on this order as well. So stay tuned for that. First off, I tried to order some, uh, some different stuff this time around. A lot of the same kind of cards, but different players and, you know, more variety. So first we got a 1970 football supers card there. We got a 54 red man baseball there del rice some of these cranes disc i think they're nice looking you know they're pretty cheap buck or less for those next we've got more of these i've gotten those in the past these are the 1980 81 tops pinups so we got the knicks and the hawks and the 76ers big fan of those Next, something I don't have any of. These are 81 mini posters. They're like cardboard posters. This one is really nice shape. You know, it was just like a dollar. So just thought I would try it out. Something like that. Some new stuff. Try out. See how they do at shows. So let's get into the cards here. We got, see a Ric Flair right off the bat here. These are 88 Wanderamas. These are like the, um, I don't know, the header card, I guess. So pretty sweet looking Ric Flair right there. A couple of those. You know, and I tried to like mix it up with some new stuff. A little more new stuff probably in this one. And some different sports. Modern basketball like Luca. This is a high number Jim Palmer from 67. It's a higher number, 475. I'm going to get that off to him through the mail. Patrick Mahomes. Some more Giannis. And then what I also ordered were a bunch of UFC Shout out to my boy, Sean McLeod. He's got some UFC videos from pretty sweet looking UFC cards. So it gave me the idea to pick up some UFC stuff on the cheap, super cheap for these. Uh, whatever there was around a dollar for the memorabilia type card. So this is like a probably fighter shorts. And uh, I'm a big UFC fan. So I know a lot about the history and I appreciate a lot of the fighters and you know the kind of the pioneers and stuff like that this was an interesting card this is a pyramid card from 1911 1911 atc it's like a gold foil card i've never seen these before let's see what the back looks like i mean that's a card that's over 100 years old talking about the pyramids you know I don't know. I think that's a really cool looking card there. So Zion, Mac Jones. I got some more modern guys. Mac Jones, rookies. Joe Burrows. You know, we got Nolan Ryan, stuff like that. But Jeter, Mahomes. This is a 1915 Silk. I'm not exactly sure what that was, but it was like a dollar. So, you know, again, a card that's over 100 years old. Bunch of LeBrons. I know I got a bunch of LeBrons coming in this. You know, and then Jersey autograph cards. Pretty sweet looking card. Not like a big time player or anything, but get those for a dollar. And these are really cool too. I've bought these in the past. 1941 gum, Uncle Sam. So they're like military cards. A little LeBron. Some autographs. Antonio Freeman. Maddox rookie. And a monkeys card from 1967 Donruss. We got some Tony Gwynn game use bats. Some of those there. I know I bought some Gwynn stuff. Some WWF. You know, I just try to like get game use stuff. You can find it cheap enough. Omar Vizquel, he's going to be in the Hall of Fame someday. Zion rookies. Beatles cards. 64 tops. Wrestling sticker. 87. Giannis, Zion, another card that's over 110 years old. These are like 
Sport Champions track there. Another UFC card. That's a mat. Uh, a used mat from an event. So, I don't know. I think those are really cool. Luke Rockhold, a pretty good fighter there. Still in the game. Three Stooges, 59 Fleer. So, 59 Fleer, they had kind of some oddball sets. They had the Three Stooges. And they have, I know I have another group of cards here that are, it's kind of a oddball set from 59 Fleer. I probably have some Ted Williams in these too. Kazzy Russell, pretty nice signature right there. You know, if I'm paying like two bucks, two fifty for a Cassie Russell autograph, can't go wrong with that. Kirby Puckett, eighty-five Fleer. So we got some Trouts, I know. Joe Burrows, pretty neat card here. This is a like a patch. Doctor Strange. Here's another map. Kung Lee. A lot of people aren't aware of Kung Lee, but he was a Shan Show world champion, like undefeated. He was amazing if you go watch his old footage. Miguel Torres was a top, top, probably best pump for pump fighter back in the day. Tree Rollins. We've got Matt Hughes. Matt Hughes, world champion. Probably the most dominant world champion ever, next to like, I would say Anderson Silva, but. Matt Hughes was from Illinois, trained in Iowa. Tough, tough dude. Big boy out from Outcast Swatch there. You know, we, we got some more vintage in here. I didn't get as much this time, but... Or as much tops vintage. Try to mix it up. Nice Sonny Jurgensen. Jordan. Kareem. These are Jim Otto's. They're from 62 Fleer. Those are really tough to find. That's his second year. I'll get those signed by him. Shaq, rookie. Some more of these. 77 Tops sticker Star Wars. Vintage football. A little bit of vintage hockey, I know. I think he signs Phil Goyette. Josh Allen. So these are, I've seen these around. You don't see them that much, but 1938 Gum Ink, Horrors of War. I think these are pretty neat cards. They're like, they talk about past history, like terrible military battles or whatever that went on. Probably could learn a lot from reading those actually. Ewing, second year. I think a Gwyn, second year. More UFC patches. USA, Olympics patch, archery. Cedric Maxwell, auto. Another vintage hockey, Shaq rookie. Another clerk's autograph. These clerk's autographs are like less than two bucks. Again, I think that clerk's is... You know, has to be one of the, my favorite movies of all time. Now, I don't have much soccer, but I did get a few soccer cards. Zaltan. <laughs> Abramovich. I don't know much about him. He's a stud, though. I've listened to him interview a few times. He's quite a character. People would say he's super arrogant or whatever, but I kind of appreciate his attitude and his confidence. You gotta appreciate that. Really cool Dave Robinson card. Johnny Unitas, Andre the nice looking Andre the Giant. Forty eight Leaf, John L. Sullivan. Tough to find these. There's a Morant rookie. Dominic Cruz, big Dominic Cruz fan. He's highly underrated in my opinion. He's had some serious injuries in the past. Um, other military card. This is a. 49 Bowman Wild West Indian Warfare. That's so 
you know, a pioneer, I guess, getting shot with an arrow. Pretty. Some of these cards are pretty horrific, actually. Like these military cards and the horrors of war. Obviously, as the name says, it's pretty bloody cards. So they're pretty, you know, interesting if you want to know about the history of war or whatever, you know, the Wild West and all that kind of stuff. There's a 44 Yankees stamp. Some Walter Payton's. Neat looking Jackie Robinson's. Can't go wrong with Jackie. Another Yoel Romero fighter used. There's another pretty sick Dominic Cruz card. His shorts. Here's another Zoltan. This is an older one from 2008. I don't know what would be considered his rookie, but pretty neat card there. Sticker card, I guess. I mean, soccer has picked up. I'm never going to know much about soccer, really, but it's picked up, you know, in the last couple of years quite a bit in popularity as far as cards go. It's one of the probably most popular sport in the world, right? But the cards as always have trailed. Talking to Gomi, there's another Matt Hughes. All right, so here's the Indian cards I'm talking about from 59 Fleer. As I said, they got the oddball sets in 59. So pretty cool looking cards. These are really a nice shape too. I think those are neat myself. 61 Fleer. Here is a Tony Stewart game used or race used tire piece. LeBron's, Burrow, Magic. So these are old soccer as well, I guess. I just saw these and <clears throat> they were like two bucks for that. So it's from 1928 Players Association Cup. I'm assuming that's soccer from the looks. I think it is. But, you know, that's almost a 100-year-old card for 2 bucks. soccer. Pretty neat, in my opinion. More LeBrons, Lucas. <clears throat> Pretty good order right here. Again, it's hard for me to remember all that I have, but... It's a 1960 USFL. Tops. Don't see a lot of those. Nice looking Bob Feller, Unitas, 38 Churchman Boxing. Another one of those, 28, different card. Here's a tennis, Legends of the Game. Never heard of them, Brian Gottfried, but that was like a dollar. So, kind of a neat card. Jordan, Zion. What else we got here? All right, so this card is another like Western one. 1909, Eight, Hassan, 1909 Hassan. Those are just beautiful cards, really. Like, I thought those were, must have been paintings that they made, made cards of them. And you gotta realize, 1910, this wasn't, too long, you know, too long after they, you know, they moved out west, 49ers or whatever, but, you know, 60 years or whatever, 70 years, I don't know the exact history, but, so it wasn't that long after that that these were made. It's kind of neat to think about that. Patrick Mahomes or Matt Hughes. Zion, Robin Yount, second year, Paul Blair Auto. I try to buy a bunch of LeBrons, you know, he's obviously one of the greatest ever, but Brock Favre. Here's a Patrick Ewing, Decade of Excellence, nice looking card. Bunch of Mahomes, and I tried to get some Gretzky's this time as well, because I really think that his cards are undervalued, other than... Like his rookie is obviously very expensive, but you know when you're looking at 
second, third, fourth year. You know, he has a lot of like award winner cards and things like that that you can get pretty cheap, two, three bucks. There's another one of those 49 Bowman. Monster card, UFC. There's a 49 Ted Williams, or 59, excuse me. You can get through the rest of these here. Kobe's. There's another Gretzky. Seventy nine tops. Nolan Ryan. Seventy eight. Tree Rollins Auto. Roger jo Jackson. Seventy three. Bunch of Mahomes. There's a McGregor. Connor. Pretty neat. WrestleMania card. These were included in the videos. Coliseum video. So I think these are actually like a sheet of three or even six maybe that came in a video that you would have bought 1993. Got Macho Man and Elizabeth there. So kind of more of the same, LeBron's, Mahomes, try to get those guys because they're they'll sell next we got th these cards are really interesting too these are g-men and heroes of the law from 1936 so i think what they're talking about is like fighting the mafia you know during prohibition and things like that so kind of more like history type cards I think those are really cool looking. There's another one. 1936. Kobe. And there's a Jerry Kramer rookie. I might get that signed by him. 59 tops. Let's get through these. Star Wars stickers. Shaq trade card. Post football. Hassan. 1910 Brooks Robinson <clears throat> so Garnett rookies I got some Garnett rookies I feel like he's highly underrated well, probably top 10 of all time right up there 15 okay so we got the best stuff for last here what do we got? We got, first off, pretty decent Mickey Mantle. This is a 62 post, and a lot of times you'll see, like, it's pretty severe damage on the back of these. There's a little bit here, but this card was only $25 for a 62 Mantle. I thought that was a really good deal, so I picked that up. Here is a 1909 T206. I think I don't like to pay much more than 40 for these. This one's pretty decent. Dick LeBeau, really good signer through the mail. That's his rookie. 64, I believe. 65, Philadelphia. Here's a nice Jordan. UNC final floor, I believe. And that would have been from the 82. They would have played that on the 82 championship when Jordan hit the last shot. A pretty cool looking card there there's a jordan sticker these stickers you can get pretty cheap now around 20 bucks that's his third year fleer sticker a walter payton sticker here's some of the top 64 coins i'm gonna open those 70 walt bellamy this bob turley psa certified was five bucks somebody had a big sale I went through and bought those, two of those. I think I have some on my port, too. And there's this card. So these are, I'm not super familiar with these, but this is a 2019, and it's called The Bar. 
they came in boxes I don't know how many packs but each pack I believe had a card like this and a lot of them were like newspaper cuts or whatever but this one is a t206 so I thought this one was you know this was 40 bucks I thought that was a good deal for this it says one of one you know and it just says on the back so you early 1900s original t206 or newspaper relic now a newspaper relic isn't really going to be worth anything you know it's just a cutout of a newspaper and newspapers in general aren't worth anything but to get a T206 like this for 40 bucks, I thought that was a really good price. And finally, talking about Wayne Gretzky, the final card I have here. Now, I don't really own any Wayne Gretzky cards other than what I just bought here. And then now I have some on my account too, my ComC account. So we got an 80, 81 tops. So this would be his second year tops, and it's a Beckett graded, four and a half. This was only forty five dollars, forty five fifty to be exact. But I remember paying that because I sent the seller an offer. That was the lowest offer, but he would take. But he took it. You know, I, I gotta believe this is a hundred dollar card, pretty easily. So some of the stuff you can kind of get on ComC like that. You know, to get a Gretzky second year graded, a decent grade, a solid, solid price. So that's it for this one, guys. I will be coming back from the sports, Chicago Sports Spectacular. And I'll, I should have, a, hopefully have a video of a bunch of stuff that I picked up there. going to hopefully find some stuff to buy there. And I'll make a video on that next week. So thanks for watching, guys. Please stay tuned for a lot more, and take care.